team keep it clean this this could be it um this could be the ravens not only last game of the regular season but this could be their finale for the year and i know as much people say uh, oh i want them to lose this game against the steelers oh they need to end their season it's been bad enough already it's still pretty sad man that this this could be the last time we see these ravens suiting up to play football and of course um this will be the conversation for every single team in the league uh, in about a month and change from now after the Super Bowl. But still for Ravens season to end like this, whether they win or lose, um, for it to possibly end like this, uh, it, it's tough. It's tough, especially having gone into this season with such high hopes for these Ravens, having gone into this season uh, thinking at least AFC championship with, with the roster that they had built um, and just with... They they just had so much that it seemed like was going for them. And then, of course, everything started going south uh, really fast. But Team Keep It Clean, it's been a really, really fun season. Um, but I hope, hopefully, we get to continue. But if this is it for the Ravens, it's been a really, really fun season. And I appreciate all of y'all so much. Uh, we um, almost at 50,000 subscribers, which is kind of weird to, to say and weird to, like, hear. Uh, but I appreciate you all for supporting um, anybody that's new here, thank you. Anybody that's been rocking with us for a while, thank you. Um, and, and just everybody else in between, too. I, I appreciate each and every one of you. Uh, I appreciate the respect that you show to the channel. I appreciate the respect that you show to each other. Um, so it's it's been fun, like really, really fun. Now, uh, with this game, because it's like we, we, we still got a game to talk about. Um, in this game, I don't even really even know what my expectations are. I don't really have much expectations for the game. Um, I would love for the Ravens to win. I would love for them to send uh, Ben Roethlisberger into retirement with a loss. They give him the uh, Detroit Palomalu. That, that would be a great, nice little send-off. Uh, so we'll see if it happens. This is obviously Tyler Huntley. He's going to be the starter uh, for the game. Um, this has been the very first game where they actually declare Lamar Jackson out before game day uh, and I was very surprised to see the Ravens do that I was very happy that they did that because with all the games and stuff it's like we as fans a lot of us fans didn't expect Lamar Jackson to play so you know these teams and whatnot they they definitely probably was like oh Lamar ain't playing all those weeks that the Ravens would try to string us along and whatnot but now that is uh officially over um now while I'm hoping I really do hope that the Ravens, they can win today and they can get a shot at going to the playoffs. We'll see. Because, again, just a quick recap, they would need the Jaguars to beat the Colts. That game is at one. They would need the Patriots to beat the Dolphins. That game is at four. And they would need the Raiders to beat the Chargers. That game is at eight, eight, ten, eight, twenty, whatever time Sunday Night Football starts. Uh, so Ravens, even if they win and even if Jaguars win, like the Ravens, Ravens will, they will either know their fate right away, especially if they lose. Like if they lose, it's done. But Ravens will either know their fate right away, or even if they win, they won't completely know their fate until later on tonight. Well, unless the Jaguars ended up losing, then Ravens will know their fate regardless. But uh, hopefully... The Jaguars could take care of it, but we'll see how everything goes down. But anyway, in this game, um, I feel like this could be Tyler Huntley's his final audition uh, to play for a handful of teams. His final audition to where a lot of teams, uh, they, they get to see like, all right, Tyler, let's let's see. You've been putting up some nice games. You've been having some good looking games, been losing, um, but they he's been putting up some some nice games. Uh, so let's see how you end it off. Let's see the decision making. Let, let's see the uh, connection with your wide receivers. Let's see what you do. Now, um, in this game, two big things. Two things that I'm actually like, like I, I obviously I want the Ravens to win. I want them to win every single game. But two things that I'm, I'm even more excited about than the Ravens winning uh, would be Hollywood and Mark Andrews. Now, Hollywood, that one's a lot easier than the Mark Andrews because Hollywood is I believe like 19 yards away from getting a thousand and of course he should have been there already he should have been there already uh then that's on him too because he done had enough drops this year uh to where he could have been had his thousand yards 
Uh, but then there have been other games where he's been a little more quiet, ain't been getting involved, and there have been, been some deep balls that have been missed. Like with Lamar and with Tyler Huntley, they done missed him on some deep balls, whether some overthrows, some underthrows, some missed throws or whatnot. Uh, so it's been a combination of things. But today should be the day where he gets his 1,000 yards. Now, Mark Andrews, he, he doesn't pass 1,000 yards, but he needs, I think, 147 yards, something like that, to, to break the, the tight end record for most receiving yards by a tight end. Now, you know, like... Steelers are going to do everything in their power to not let that happen. I mean, nobody wants Mark Andrews to go off anyway. No opposing teams. But Steelers, they're they going to be trying extra hard today to not let that happen. Of course, because they're going to be trying to win the game too. And if Mark Andrews is going off, um, then that, that wouldn't help them win the game. Now, Steelers, they have two people on their side that are trying to uh, break some records too. Now, of course, we talked about Ben Roethlisberger. He's getting ready to most likely retire. Uh, send him out with a loss. That would be great. But T.J. Watt. T.J. Watt is trying to break the single season sack record. And he is he got he got a lot stacked up against him. Now, I know there's been the meme that's been going around that, oh, uh, T.J. Watt, he get through all the uh, all the, the, the characters and whatnot. He get through all these levels and then he gets to the final boss. And his final boss is Alejandro Villanueva. <laughs> I know a lot of Ravens fans been like, oh, he's he going to break that record. He's going to break the sack record in the first quarter. And it's like, well, I, I understand the frustration with Big Al. Some people been calling this guy a spy. Some people been saying he still works for the Steelers. Um, but with Big Al, he, um, it's, it's been rough. It's been rough. And a lot of Steelers fans, they try to let us know. Like, hey, that, that guy, eh, I don't know about that one. And, again, I was hoping, like, hey, he's coming to a running team, and, and so he, he'll, be, he'll be in pass protection a lot less than he was over there in Pittsburgh. But, yeah, it's, it's, it's been pretty rough. Um, but shout out to him because he has been around uh, for a while. He has um, He's played most of the games this season. I think he might have missed one, I want to say. He might have missed one. But he's been out there for the majority of the year. So that's where everything starts, man, because you could be the best player in the world. Uh, but if you can't stay healthy, then you can't really be the best player in the world because the best player in the world is not going to be on the shelf all the time. So shout out to him for that. Um, but with a mix of him and, of course, Patrick McCary uh, and Tyler Huntley, they need to do everything in their power to prevent T.J. Watt from breaking that sack record. Tyler Huntley, he usually gets the ball out pretty quickly. He usually makes pretty uh, quick decisions. Snap, read, decide, throw. Just like that. So that's something that goes against uh, T.J. Watt and, and that possible record being broken. Uh, so we'll see what goes down with that. Um, but in this game, it's, this has just been a grueling season. And for this final Final game, possibly final game. Uh, it's about the last men standing, like straight up, the last men standing. And a lot of people they didn't make it. They didn't. Pat Pat Ricard just got put on IR this week. Nick Boyle he was hobbling through this season. He missed a lot of games, obviously, and then he came back and he still seemed like he was hurt. Uh, but he um, he got put on a COVID list, so he wouldn't even won't even have a chance to play in the game. Um, and, of course, everybody who's been on injury reserve and got hurt. Dalen Hayes, he just got put on IR. Um, so, it's been a lot. Uh, now, one thing, well, one of the things that I'm looking forward to seeing in this game uh, that I feel like is necessary for the Ravens if they're going to win is Tony Jefferson having a big game. And I'm not even talking about even, not even a bunch of sacks or a bunch of tackles or a bunch of interceptions or whatever, but just – you being able to feel Tony Jefferson's presence uh, on the field. You being able to really see his energy come across on that field. They just signed him to the active roster. Um, and it's, it's looking like, like I ain't hear anything, but it's looking like the Ravens are probably going to sign Tony Jefferson to an extension. Whether it's a year or it's two years, it's really looking like it's, they about to sign him to an extension. I know it's only been a couple of games and whatnot, but... And it wouldn't be for any crazy money or anything like that, but I, I think I think that they're going to. 
Uh, but we we won't know till we know. And it, if they do, it'll be crazy how things just come full circle. And that's a Tony Jefferson is a very good example of why you do, don't burn your bridges. Don't burn your bridges because you just never know. You never know when you might need that employer again. And you never know when that employer might need you. So do not burn your bridges. Um, but yeah, if Ravens are going to win this game, then if Ravens win, then I know Tony Jefferson is going to have had a really good game. You you will see that number. What is he? Number 31. I think you you will see him have a big impact. Um, Chuck Clark. <laughs> hey, we won't complain if you had the type of game you had last week. We won't complain at all. No problem on our end. So hopefully he can. Jimmy Smith, this could be his last. A lot of, a lot of Ravens' potential last games. Jimmy Smith, Pernell McPhee, Anthony Levine, Brandon Williams, Calais Campbell. Um, who are some other guys whose contracts are expiring? And even for guys whose contracts aren't expiring, this could still be some of their last games too. Uh, well, no, not Patrick Carr because he ain't playing. But he could have possibly played his last game as a Raven since his contract is up. So it's, this is going to be a very, um, very sentimental game, man. I know it doesn't feel like typical Ravens Steelers week because so much less than usual is on the line for this game. And I'm sure when NFL first created the schedule, they were thinking, oh, man, yeah, Ravens, Steelers, week 18. Oh, yeah, this is this, this could possibly be for the division. It could be for a playoff spot. And it kind of is for a playoff spot. No, both teams, whoever wins, they're going to need a, a, a significant amount of help. But I'm sure the NFL and I'm sure even Ravens and Steelers, in their mind, they were thinking like, oh, this, this is going to be something serious. And the game still is something serious, but it's just not nearly as serious as it is should have been or that we hoped it would be uh but may the uh the best team win um and may the really the healthiest team win uh because that's what it's come down to especially for the ravens uh so anyway team keep it clean hopefully this will not be the final uh ravens game preview of the year uh but if it is just know that i love y'all Know that I appreciate y'all like crazy. Um, know that the videos, they're not going anywhere. But everything is just going to be different now because, um, of course, after the playoffs and everything. But we are, hopefully we don't have to get there this week. But if this is it, then we are shifting. For any Ravens talk, it's going to be in off-season mode. It's going to be in off-season mode. Um, draft, free agency. You already know it's going to be in off-season mode. Uh, so we'll see what happens today. We'll see what goes down between these Ravens and the Steelers. Uh, and like I said, may the best, healthiest team win. And may the team that loses, well, yeah, just like their playoff chances for whoever loses will be. And their spot in the playoffs will be, well, they actually won't have a spot because just like the end of the video, they'll be out. I love y'all, team. Keep it clean. I appreciate y'all so much.